What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back ahead again with another video. So, this will be my first time doing a uh, predictions match for Crown Jewel, which will be happening this Thursday. You already know we're going to be live streaming it uh, on the In The Clutch page. It's going to be kind of early for us. Uh, the show is supposed to start at 11 p.m. Central Standard Time, so... If you're wanting to check that out, you want to join us in the live stream, I don't think you want to miss it. We're definitely going to be uh, doing a live stream reaction. It's going to be fun. Can't wait to check it out. But I wanted to make a uh, um, a predictions uh, video to give my thoughts and opinions on who I think is going to win, why I think they're going to win. Now, I want to make a disclaimer. I haven't been watching Monday Night Raw as of late. So uh, I'm going to kind of be out the loop maybe potentially on certain you know storylines but i'm gonna give my best uh educated guess to see who will win these respective matches so let's start with monsoor versus ali i think they're gonna pl definitely play to the 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 um the home well i wouldn't say hometown crowd but the countrymen crowd uh i think uh a lot of people are gonna be interested especially from from the country of saudi arabia they're gonna be interested in this, in this match wwe usually tries to uh, have at least one match on the card that you know really uh shows or kind of shows like their their ethnic involvement in the company so monsoor versus ali even though i do like mustafa ali um i haven't really been keeping up with their storyline um so i'm gonna probably give it to ali only because i do think Ali needs some type of win here and i'm pretty sure the crowd will love this match just because you know there is going to be people in the ring that's like them you know what I'm saying represent representing them so i think the crowd's going to be into this match and i'm gonna give this match to Ali like i said haven't really been keeping up with the feud um Zelina Vega versus Dewdrop for the Queen's Crown final um I can see them giving it to Zelina Vega. It seems like they really have been pushing her as of late. So I can see Zelina Vega getting the win here. I don't think they're going to give Dewdrop the win, to be honest with you. Uh, but I do see since they have been pushing Zelina these past couple weeks, I think they're going to give her the win here. She's going to win the Queen's Crown Final uh, for the King of the Ring Final. This is a match I'm really interested in. Finn Balor versus uh xavier woods i think what would be great is you have xavier woods and win here i know finn could use a nice little momentum boost after what happened at extreme rules but i think you give this to xavier the reason why i say this is because at the end of the day his brothers in the new day they have all been main event wwe champions and i think this is the step to get him into that main event light and like i said in the past i think you could really set up something in the future where xavier woods may end up feuding with Big E for the title you know it could cause some you know some dissension between the three i think this would be good i think xavier needs this more than finn at this point finn can take a loss here i think if you're going to go this storyline, they're going this storyline where people are, you know, trying to buy into Xavier Woods. He's the one guy that hasn't had a main event run. I think you go with Xavier Woods here. Have him be king of the ring. I, that's just me. That's just me and my personal opinion. So I would like to get your opinions on that. Do y'all feel like he deserves to get that win? Now, we're going to get to the no holes bar match. Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg. Um, for me... I wasn't as interested in this match, but I have seen some of the clips and some of the back and forth promos. They have actually made me interested in this match. I think it's just going to be a, a pretty much de, a destructive match. Nothing technical, just just a, a destructive match, which which that's what you want to see in a Goldberg match. And I think I think they're going to give the win to Goldberg here. I think they are. Uh, it would be cool if Bobby wins, but I think honestly, 
from a storyline setup, I think they're gonna give the win to Goldberg. Only because they set it up where it's like, oh, you he touched my son. You knew this was gonna happen. They were gonna have a match at some point. He touched my son, he put hands on my son. So just uh, you know, I think they're gonna give him that rub here, and I think he's going to win at uh at Crown Jewel. That's just my opinion. I'm not sure if I agree with him winning, but I I don't think I would be too upset. As long as Bobby doesn't get squashed, which I don't think he will, I'm okay with that. If they have a back and forth, cool. I'm okay with that. But most likely Goldberg will probably win this match. This is one of the matches I am so excited for. Hell in a Cell match. Edge versus Seth Rollins. I think you give the slight edge, no pun intended, to Edge himself. I think Edge will probably win this this series and maybe just maybe he ends up turning face from this you know i i, I could see a uh seth rollins turning face from this i'm not sure but I, I i'm gonna give this match to edge either way if seth rollins does win this that'll be cool I, I wouldn't really trip but i'm gonna give this match to edge this is just gonna be i can't wait i am so excited for this so if I think Edge is going to walk out victorious on this one. We got the SmackDown's Women Championship match. Becky Lynch versus Bianca Bella versus Sasha Banks. Um, I think Sasha is going to win this. I think Sasha is going to win the SmackDown's Women's Championship. Ra uh, Raw Tag Team Championship. The RK Bro versus AJ Styles and almost. Um, I'm going to give it to... The RK bro, man. I think the RK pro or bro is going to uh, uh, come out victorious here. Once again, I haven't really been watching SmackDown. I mean Raw, so you can fault me for it. But I, I, I feel like AJ and almost. I think AJ needs to be doing something else, honestly. I think his running the tag team division is cool. But I think he needs to get back into the main event scene. Almost. I don't know what you do with him. You can keep him as an enforcer. Or whatnot for AJ, but I think AJ needs to get in back into to the the main event scene. He's a main event guy, and I would like to see him feud with Big E for the title. You know, have almost in his corner. You know, I think that would be pretty cool. That's just my personal opinion, and they have a little bit of history, so I would have RK Bro win it and uh, keep that tag team going. Um, the WWE Championship match: Big E versus Drew. I'm, of course, I'm going with Big E here. I'm going with Big E here. Big E needs to retain. If he loses to Drew McIntyre, I'm going to be very disappointed in WWE. Very disappointed. Because at the end of the day, Big E needs this win. He needs to beat past WWE champions, formidable opponents. Drew doesn't need the title right now. He don't. Now, you can potentially turn Drew heel, and maybe they continue to feud that way as him being a heel, but Big E needs to retain the WWE Championship. I'm going to be very upset if he ends up losing this match to Drew. I'm just keeping a stack and a half with you. Be very disappointed. Would have been a wasted of a title opportunity. And of course, the main event. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. I've made an entire video on why Roman Reigns must win this match. I'm going with Roman Reigns here. I'm sorry, it just doesn't make sense from a booking standpoint to have Brock Lesnar win the championship back. There's no point. We're not going to see him on television. There is no point in doing that. I'd rather have Roman Reigns as my champ. He has been the best universal champion we have ever had. He is carrying the, uh, the SmackDown brand and WWE as a whole on his back. Doesn't make sense to take the title off him because it pretty much just negates everything he's worked hard for. Yeah, he can beat everybody else, but he can't beat Brock. No, 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 no. Roman must win this match. He must. Simple as that. If they drop the belt to him, WWE, they have wasted. They have literally wasted our time for over a year and a half. You don't make this guy this unbeatable just to have him lose to Brock. Because at that point, we're, we're going backwards. We're regressing. You know what I'm saying? We need to be progressing forward to see who can actually be the next guy up after Roman. 
Brock is not the next guy up. He's not. <laughs> he's been there, done that. He's just there because he's a big name. Roman Reigns wins and retains his WWE Universal Championship. So that's my predictions for uh, my for a uh, crown jewel uh, this Thursday. So I want to know from all the matches that we know that are announced. List your predictions. Who you think is going to win? Why you think they deserve to win? I would like to get your guys' opinion on this, especially even more because I don't be watching Raw, so you can kind of give me a little bit more backstory on some of the storylines and story beats. But outside of that. I would like to know your guys' opinions on who's going to win this Thursday. And make sure you guys tune in live on YouTube. We'll be live streaming at 11 p.m. I mean, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's when the show starts for us. We're going to be up in the morning for you guys because this is going to be a good one. You don't want to miss it. You know Dub's going to be really anxious to see what happens between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. So this is going to be great. We'd love to get your thoughts and opinions on who's going to win this Thursday. Appreciate all love and support. Roll to 6K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.